The ATX floor glute developer would have to be one of the best ham glute devices given the space and its cost. Nordic curls have exploded in popularity over the years. Like a lot of people, I got onto the train with that knee over toes guy. When I first tried them, I felt that my, my hamstrings were gonna rip off the bone. And if you've been training for years and you have not tried them, do not get put off by the start. The problem was always how you um, perform this exercise. There was always many DIY setups. They all do the job if you're on a budget, but if you're a personal trainer or have a gym, the ATX floor glute will make it a hell of a lot easier. Now I won't go into detail onto the build. It's pretty basic. It's just a solid frame on rubber feet. This pad will make doing the exercise as comfortable as this uncomfortable exercise can be. You slide your feet under the covered rollers. They're adjusted with a commercial pull pin and the rollers have a, a, a locking screw so members can't rip the whole assembly out. At the back, there is a foot plate for bracing with a T-shaped uh, bracket on the top where you anchor your resistance band. This is one way you ease yourself into Nordic curls. Finally, there's wheels at the back of the plate plus a stopper. So when you finish off your last set, you can use your glute floor developer as a walking frame. And the rubber contact points will mean that it's not gonna mark your floors. I'd love to hear from you guys about Nordic curls. Let me know in the comments what you think about this exercise. I personally rate this exercise highly as I do them often. And uh, now I've got an easy way to perform them. I do them a lot more. Now I've got access to some of the best leg machines, but I choose Nordics because they're very taxing, great for injury prevention, and I guarantee you'll feel like you've got stronger legs and an all-round posterior chain. Whether it be a home gym or a commercial gym, when you talk leg machines, you always mention the favorites, leg press, hack squat, leg extension, leg curls. Even those ones off the top of my head are, are nearly always quad dominant. Nowadays, it's widely recognized the importance of hamstring and glute strength, um, but it's still hard to shake the thinking that um, you need a, a leg press or similar quad dominant machine. For people thinking about a home gym, it can put you off because these quad dominant machines are very expensive and take up a lot of space. The beauty of all this new knowledge is that you can build a, uh, a great little compact gym that's affordable as well. For upper body, you can hit everything with a set of Ironmaster dumbbells and a bench. Now for legs is where it gets a bit more complicated. So if you've got an Ironmaster bench, you can get a leg attachment with leg extension, leg curls. By adding the, the ATX floor glute, you've got arguably one of the best hamstring exercises around. It is the equivalent of adding a high-end leg press for quads. My recommendation would be an ATX compact hex trap bar, which is a great way to target the quads as well as build overall strength. Combined with some lunges and goblet squats, you can build yourself a half decent leg workout. Now I know this wouldn't be suitable for a competitive bodybuilder, but even for a serious amateur athlete, you're gonna build yourself a strong body with this compact little setup. For personal trainers, the same applies. What leg machine can be this taxing even for the most advanced trainers that can be stood up, rolled away at the end of the workout? Best of all, it is dirt cheap in comparison to those other advanced machines.